It's Hitman. What's going on, guys? Today we're reviewing an international exclusive Origins Blaster. We've seen this product come out in Hobby. This is the first time they've released a retail format, so let's check it out. Alright guys, here we are. This is Origins 2021. Uh, this is the first time they've released a retail format of this. This is a blaster box. I believe these were released uh, internationally only. So you won't find this in the United States. These are selling for around $200, I believe. It does come with 35 cards, it looks like. And it says, find 14 rookies. So that's quite a lot of rookies. Um, let's see what how this compares to Hobby. We did open up a few Hobby boxes. I did one on my channel. You can check out the video here. The Hobby box does come at about $450 to $500 and up for those hobby boxes and you only ha got uh, I believe five cards in there so or seven cards in there so this you get a lot more cards might be good value uh, let's take a look at the box this is 2021 origins you're gonna get five cards per pack seven packs per box you're gonna find 14 rookies featuring the hottest players of the 2021 draft class you're gonna find exclusive retail inserts, including catapults and more, including the ultra rare Big Bang inserts. So the inserts in here will be different than Hobby. Let's take a look at the sides with the odds. Looks like it's a 192 card set, 100 base, 50 rookies, and 42 rookie jumbo jersey autographs. I don't believe any autographs are guaranteed though. There, you can pull the cards numbered all the way down to one, so that is nice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and rip into this. Here we are. Origins is definitely a unique set. They're kind of artistic, kind of a thicker cardstock. Well, the hobby was anyways. Let's see if the retail does come in a thicker cardstock as well. All right, we'll start from the top. So yeah, it looks like um, here's what the base card. So it's gonna be same same base cards as the um, as the hobby. Some will find numbered. Looks like these are not numbered. There's Julio Jones, Matthew Stafford. There's our rookie that's going to be numbered, Simi Fihoko, numbered to 175. Khalil, Khalil Herbert, rookie. And how about a Trevor Lawrence rookie? That one is not numbered, I believe. But pretty cool, Trevor Lawrence rookie. Now being in the car, little bit thicker cardstock with kind of colored borders, or a lot of color on them, you will see a lot of whiting here. Very hard to gem one of these, but still a nice card. Nice hurt, uh, nice Trevor Lawrence there. Going with the next pack. Uh, Tyreek Hill. I think the design of Origins is pretty cool. I like it. I like the look a lot. Uh, Lamar Jackson, and looks like we have a catapults. Is this one of the case hits? Wait a minute. Oh no, that's just an insert. The the Big Bang is the case hit. The exclusive insert is Catapult. So that is just one of the inserts. That's gonna be Russell Wilson, Catapult. These are not numbered. Another Simi Fihoko rookie. And uh, Ch Chuba, Chuba Hubbard rookie there. So it looks like you are getting a lot of rookies. They say uh, two, 14 rookies, so it looks like two rookies per pack on average. AJ Brown, Quinn and Williams, and looks like we have Ray Lewis Origins, how it started, how it's going. Ray Lewis, there it is, shows him as a pro and then as a Hall of Fame. I believe that is, that is just also one of the inserts. Let's take a look at that. Any Ravens fans out there? Very colorful cards. Nice Ray Lewis there. All 
right, and then we have um, Elijah Mitchell and Najee Harris. This one is a base rookie as well. All right, next pack. There is a Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers. There's another Catapults insert, Drew Brees. We have a rookie of Ian Book and Jacob Harris for the Rams. So the amount of rookies you get is very cool because you buy a hobby box, you may get one or two rookies. You're getting 14 rookies in this retail box. Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, and we have a rookie Khalil Herbert. That is gonna be a numbered one, 299. Very cool. Uh, another Davis Davis Mills and Terrace Marshall. We got two packs left. Adam Thielen, uh, Brandon Cooks. There is a Justin Herbert uh, catapults there. That is going to my PC. Des Fitzpatrick rookie and uh, Kadarius Tony. All right, very last pack here, guys. I know it was a quicker rip, only doing one blaster box here, but as you can see, you get a lot of stuff in this blaster box, though. There's a uh, JJ Watt, Corey Davis, and how it's how it started versus how it's going was uh, as a Barry Sanders. Now in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Larry Roundtree for the Chargers and Sam Ellinger. So, so that does it for the rookies. Um, let's do a little recap and then uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts of the Blaster Box. We did get a lot of base here. As you guys can see, the base do come on the same stock. I wonder if there's anything to tell you that this came from a Blaster. I don't believe so. So same base you can get from Hobby. Um, same rookies as well, I believe. Some of these, well, we did get a couple of numbered rookies, including the Khalil Herbert to 299, and then I believe the very first rookie, the Fihoko was numbered as well. There it is, that's to 175. Here are the inserts we picked up, how it started versus how it's going of Emmett Smith and Ray Lewis. We picked up catapults of Herbert Breeze and Russell Wilson. And then we did pick up the best base rookie of Trevor Lawrence. So. Like I said, uh, as far as value, of course you don't get the auto or the mem guarantee. So is it worth $200? I would say, I would say if you're looking for base rookies, you're looking for bulk, looking for a lot of cards to open, the blaster is the better buy. If you're looking to score bigger, uh, the hobby box is the better buy. However, however, the hobby box is only seven cards, so it's really, you're really risking it there to try to hit that bigger card, get the guaranteed auto. So, personally, I think they're both about the same. If I were, to, if I had uh, $800 to spend, I would buy two blasters and one hobby box to kind of even it out. If you only had $400 to spend, um, that's a tough one. You want to go for the gamble for the big hit, you go for the hobby box. You want to have a lot of cards to open, possibly hit an auto. The blasters are the thing. Let me know what you guys would buy if you guys would buy two blasters or one hobby box because that's about what it works out to. Actually, you could probably buy about two and a half blasters. So depending on what you can find the price of hobby at. So anyways, guys, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Let me know what you think of Origins and which one would you rather have two blasters, a little over two blasters or one hobby box. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.